all right what is up everybody welcome back to the channel so to continue on yesterday's video when i broke down on broadway in oak park and how to push my bike five hours back home yeah so today today is not a very good day so replace the rectifier or yeah replace the rectifier i replaced the stator i replaced the fuse that was blown for the fuel pump i blew through like five of them already um yeah try to do a whole bunch of diagnosis and everything and turned out the bike is gone show you in a second what it looks like i gotta take the whole bike apart again now but i don't know if you remember when um what is it when i first started rebuilding the bike and i went to ride it without a sub cage yeah well i'm gonna post that video right here i'm turning off like i don't know what that problem is oh shit turn that off <laughs> so when i was doing that right and the battery was on the fuel tank and it fried the fuel pump wires. Well, it was only a matter of time before it fried the rest of the shit. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So right here, right? This 20 amp fuse is the fuse relay, or it's the fuse for the fuel pump. Now I replaced almost the whole battery pack. The battery brand new, stator's brand new, rectifier brand new. Just replaced it today. Went through so many fuses, come to find out and realization that you see that all that is fried all the wires and connections are melted all these are all this plug is melted off the wire came out of it so i can't put that back in to connect it uh connection plugs and wires up in here are fried what else wires through here right there those are fried through all this is fried through uh, the stator wire connector right here is discolored. That's fried through. Um, what else? This is fried right there. You can already see that's fried to the starter motor. It's probably why I've been having starting issues in, to begin with. So now I got to take off this whole sub harness. Well, I have to keep, I'm keeping the sub harness because the sub harness is fine, but everything else for the relay wires right here. All these wires and shit like that to the ECU and the fuel pump and the injectors, all that's got to come off and I have to go and find myself a brand new, um, a brand new wire harness. So I'm going to hit up Gold River Automotive. Pray to God that they have a wire harness because it's going to be an expensive ass fucking thing. Um, fuel pump alone, I thought it was the fuel pump. Thank God I didn't waste $600 to buy a fuel pump, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna need one too. So, who knows? Uh, yeah, when I did that bullshit, and being hella antsy and being hasty and trying to ride the bike again, we managed to fuck a whole bunch of shit up on the bike, and now I'm having to pay for it. And I just started work, so yeah. <laughs> All right, you, could, you could tell the stress level right now. Um, but yeah, so yesterday when the bike shut off, I literally got stuck on Broadway. The bike blew, the battery blew up. So I played the battery today or yesterday. Um, come to realize when I go to start the bike, the fuse, the 20 amp fuse that I had was flashing red every time I tried to hit the kill switch button, change that out. Every time I had it, blue, blue fuse every time. Um, so yeah, today we are going to be taking apart the bike, taking apart the fairings and stripping this bike back down like i was saying i don't know if i said it yesterday in the video i am going to be getting rid of this bike because it's been a major fucking headache 
I brought, I kind of brought the headache on myself for frying the fuel pump wires and now it's causing a lot more issues later on down the road and it just gave out its last breath. So I, I blame myself for that, but you know, six months of not being able to, seven plus months of not being able to ride and then finally getting back to ride and then this shit happens and it's just like, it. I'm not trying to like be negative or anything. I'm trying to stay as positive about this, but this is my only way of transportation to get to work, make money and everything. And I got a million and a half other things going on. So this is like the ultimate kill switch to me right now. Cause it's like hella depressing and frustrating at the same time. Cause one, I don't have the money until next weekend. Like it's, I have, like I said, I got a million and a half things going on right now. So this is like, super super depressing and stressful and all the above right now and i'm trying to i'm trying to control my emotions through it so anyways i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna go ahead and start stripping this shit down it's gonna hurt a lot but as soon as we get a new wire harness this bike will be for sale and i am going to be trading this for a stunt bike all right y'all so yeah we have to get into this um First, you gotta figure out, well, gas tank to stay where it acts, but as far as everything else goes, it's gotta come off. It's gotta come out. So, I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse, knock all this stuff out, and then after that, um, we'll discuss what's gonna happen. You could just, like, cut all these connectors off and cr cr connect. You, you do, you can, you, you want, you want. What the fuck are you talking about? I can't freaking talk. What you can do is connect or cut off the connectors, right? And create your own harness again. I mean, create your own plug. But I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just replace the whole harness. That way, if anything were to eventually screw up, it doesn't mess up the ECU. That's one of the biggest issues that I have right now. guys it's a gazillion degrees outside i'm sweating my balls off uh, but yeah just like that the harness is off so i'm gonna break down to y'all exactly what we're gonna start off from the far right right here right you could already tell this is fried and everything this is my transmission i think it's a cam angle sensor but basically it goes right there it's for the transmission so i think it's just a transmission sensor or I don't, I don't know what you call this but i gotta get a new one of these because the plug is fried on it and this probably doesn't work anymore um next off we got the transmission or we got the solenoid right here this 
is fine, but I would probably recommend getting a new solenoid. So we're gonna keep that. The new harness comes with all new plugs, all new, uh, it comes with an OEM stator and shit like that. Next off, right, we got the main harness with the ECU injector plugs. Um, the injector plugs are fine, the ECU plugs are fine. The only thing that I found wrong right here, the fuel pump wiring and the stator and rectifier wires. So this goes into this right here. This plug is completely fried. Uh, everything toward the connector is fried and melted. Um, this is melted for the stator and rectifier connectors and fuel pump pressure regulator. That's fried, or fuel pressure regulator is fried. Um, stator wires are fried. What else? This connector is fried. The this is fine. I'm gonna have to keep all the, uh, the fuses for this. Um, what else? The relays are fine. I'm gonna keep the relays. This is, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh, TST, I'm not sure what that does, but that's fine. Uh, most of these are fine. But yeah, majority of the plug that got fried, like I said in that last video where I fried my fuel pump wires, it basically fried the uh, rectifier wires, fuel pump wires, the transmission signal wire, and then it also fried the, um, fuel pressure regulator wire and the transmission, did I say transmission wires or transmission sensor wire? Uh, yeah, so anything to do with stator, with electrical current, like stator and rectifier, those wires got fried, transmission wire got fried, fuel pressure regulator wire got fried, and yeah. So this was fairly easy to take off. Um, actually it was super easy to take off and you know, it's like taking apart a BMW wire harness, you know, it's all plug and play. Um, yeah, everything for the bike is taken apart again. Uh, shit, I forgot I didn't drain. I gotta, I don't want to drain the gas tank, but I am going to have to figure out how to keep this from leaking. So, all right. So before my camera got hot, um, I don't know what I was talking about, but yeah, we're gonna be getting a new wire harness pretty soon. I'm gonna be keeping some of the fuses. I gotta figure out what that transmission angle sensor or whatever it is that goes right there. Get a new one, get a new starter solenoid or probably just keep this one since it's all right. But you know, I better give the dude fresh parts and not have him stress about, you know, this, this and that breaking like I am. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna hit up some folks in the 600 community group, see if anybody has a wire harness and can source me the part number for that sensor. Uh, once that's in, put it back together and boom, bike back up and running. So, um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. My head's all over the place with this bike right now. You know, it's been very stressful in the last seven months and to have that happen. You know, I kind of brought it on myself when I had the battery when I didn't have the, uh, what is it? When I didn't have the freaking sub cage on, but I didn't have the sub cage on and I wanted to ride the bike just because I was hella bored of sitting up in the house with a broken arm, I mean, with a broken wrist and shoulder and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's a long story. Anyways, that's gonna conclude today's video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed that and if this helps anybody else out, um, I've been seeing a lot of people in the group pages having problems with their fuel pump priming. Um, if you have your fuel pump priming issue, go straight to this 20 amp fuse right here. Uh, nine times out of 10, this will be your problem. And if it keeps blowing out, check your harness. Because if that keeps blowing out, either your fuel pump might be bad or your harness is fried somewhere. It has a bad ground or you melted something on your harness. I'll see y'all next time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get more notification when I drop a video, and I'll see y'all next time. Since I have my nose, since I have my nose for me, yeah. House full of kilos, soul pounds and zeros. Cocaine, my hero, you ain't fake side getting deep old. Always asking what the learner like. Young, young home still freeload. Don't fly around, don't fly around my signal. I'll rearrange your dental.